So I'm up in the brush field today. It is our first day in the 90s. Very humid. Um, we got about seven tenths of an inch in a storm that pushed through last night. But what I'm doing today is last weekend I burned down, I don't know, maybe a half to seven tenths of an acre up here and planning on using my old Alice Chalmers two-row no-till planter to uh, put out some sorghum. I usually do this every year and I, I alternate. Um, so last year where I had it, it will be fallow this summer. I'll just let it grow up. This, this is a 10-acre field. Um, unlike the rest of the farm, it's not in any kind of production. I don't graze it, don't cut hay. Um, it's basically just dedicated to wildlife and pollinators and songbirds. Um, train my bird dogs up here, run trail cameras. Okay, so it has been two months to the day since I took the old Alice Chalmers up here and no-tilled some sorghum into the brush field. Um, we're in the midst of a drought. As you can see, these far rows, they're, they're paying the price because uh, these cedar trees in the fence row are, are taking most of the moisture. But this sorghum is pretty resilient, and um, once we start getting some rain again, I believe it'll come on and, and do really well. As you can see, it, it has some weeds in it. Um, I haven't gone back over it with any kind of herbicide like I would if it were a production crop. I don't mind if it has weeds in it. That's more cover. And um, ultimately, you know, a lot of them provide more food for the quail especially. Okay, so this is another little spot here in a long power line right away that, that I did the same day I did the brush field. It's a little better ground up here but um just a, a good spot sort of got two or three different kinds of vegetation that come together uh, cedar thicket on two sides a hay field on the other and um, a big patch of set aside ground um, on one end so looking good it is real dry but uh, there should be a whole lot of food and cover right here for for the Bob Whites come fall and winter. <laughs> 